Thank you. How are you guys doing? So guys, uh, as I said before, welcome. Um, I'm Chef Olive from Kitchen of Fire. You're welcome to ask me questions live. I mean, you can talk to me, I can answer. I have my microphone, I'm good. I won't have time to type anything, but uh, I'm just gonna go for it and do a bunch of different from one to another. So I'm gonna start cleaning my chicken and I'm gonna do my dough and on and on. I'll explain everything I'm doing. So not to worry. And here we go. I'm just getting my, my chicken right now for the chicken Parmesan. You can do the same with eggplant Parmesan. I won't have time to do the eggplant today. The eggplant is very similar to the, it's exactly the same. Okay, so don't worry about it. Now, uh, quickly, I'm just gonna go get my balls. And we are good to go. Right. And eggs, sorry, I forgot two eggs. Ooh. All right. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, for the made chicken. So this is what I want to do. For the Parmesan, I'm not going to pound the chicken. I don't like when it's pounded because basically it's dry. This is my, my choice. I've cooked long enough to tell you it's not a good idea. So I'm going to show you basically what I do with the chicken. So I got the breast here. It's a really good chicken, it's Mary's chicken. And I'm going to slice it, basically. All I need to do is make some, you see the slices I'm doing, right? See that? Even if it's a little thick, this is fine. At least it's going to be moist. See, now this one is going to be about the same size. This one is going to be smaller. You can do something else with that, right? That little guy that hangs is the, this is the, it's called the loin, it's the tender piece. It's that very tender piece. So you can leave it on the side and do something fun with that. I can do two pieces per, per breast, right? Keep that loin, that is really tender. Those are called the tenders or the loin. I'm gonna cook them separately. I'm gonna do something fun with that. And that's all we need to do, right? See, pretty easy, huh? So I have pieces that are sensitively the same size. Now I'm gonna put those away. And you see, I didn't touch it with my hand, so I don't have to wash my hand. That's the idea, that's why I like that. What's, what's the main difference for using eggplant, Chef? I know you're not doing it today, but- The what? The main difference for using eggplant instead of chicken? Yes, uh, the, the eggplant is symbol. Um, Very similar. It's exactly the same. You just slice the eggplants. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna show you the size. size, but that's it. Yep. Great. Because otherwise I won't have time to do the gluten-free and uh, the pie, this is impossible. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let me put that away here. Then I'm gonna put that into a different place. And I'm gonna dump all this. You guys, when you cut meat, one thing you need to do is get rid of that all the raw meat needs to go with the knife and everything. You need to change everything. So now I have this. Francesca, I see your question in the chat. I'm gonna drop the recipe um, for the eggplant in there as well. So that, I'm, I hope that it was shared with you beforehand, but if not, you can open it up. That way you can follow along as chef makes the chicken Parmesan. You can read about how the All eggplant right. Parmesan is the same. I will do, Eggplant is this, see? All you need to do is that, that's it. Cut them like this, okay? And there after that, the direction is gonna be the same for the chicken and the, and the eggplant people, okay? Thank you, chef. So, yes, sir, absolutely. My uh, chicken is done, cut, so I, I'm clean now. Now I'm gonna do my dough, the dough for the, the, the pie, because the pie needs to go in the oven very quickly. So for the dough, super easy. I'm gonna show you how to make a French dough, really cool. I have my butter that I'm gonna cut up in little cubes, really cool. And cut rough. Don't even worry if you don't wanna cut it too much, doesn't matter, because what happens is we're gonna blend it. You don't have to have a blender. If you wanna go by hand, it's okay. What you can do is you can take, you see, I'm just gonna go quick and give a quick chop. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do, that's all. So I'm gonna do, that's not my, that's not my chicken, okay, fine. <laughs> See, I'm gonna go, you can cut it more, absolutely, no problem. 
And then I'm going to put in there my flour with the sugar, okay? The flour and the sugar. So it's measured somewhere, right? Two and a half cup, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put a nice amount of salt. I'm going to put a teaspoon because I like salt. Salt is great in dessert. It gives that little tang. It's beautiful stuff, right? So that's it, going in there. So that's my flour and the sugar and the salt. My water is here. And all you need to do is pulse, pulse, which I'm going to show you right now, until you get something really cool. Look like a dough. I mean, seriously, that's it. You can do it by hand, absolutely. If you do it by hand, basically you go in there and you pea size, pea size the butter. Okay, I'm gonna go in the blender, it's gonna go faster. So I'm going in there. The lid on, no water yet. Okay, no water. So let me show you what it looks like. Let me move that, you guys. Move that so you can see what the hand doing, right? Whoa, there you go. See, cool, huh? All right, sorry, trying to move that under the it's you don't have to see that, but it's always good to see, right? All right, I can't move it too much. Cool. Oh, you can see, perfect, great. So you see it better, flour, and I'm gonna pulse. I'm gonna pulse it until I get my peas. All right, so now I'm gonna check it out. Not done, I can see big pieces, but I'm gonna go in there and look at what's happening. I need pea size, see, pea size. How about the size flake? I still have big pieces, so I'm gonna keep going a little bit. Maybe two minutes, two more minutes. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty easy. All right. Wait. I have my pea size. So now I have pea size. Little pieces of butter, okay? That's what I'm looking for. That's it. Cool. All right, now I'm going to put my water. It's going to be about, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how much. I'm going to put some. Pulse very gentle. This is where you have to be careful now because I go too much with the blender and the dough. I'm going to make that dough really tight. So we don't want, we want something very crunchy and, okay? So we're going to go easy on that. So I'm going to put some water. I'm gonna put about two, three tablespoons, just like that first, right? And then we're gonna pulse gently. And you guys are gonna see again. I don't know if you can see. At some point, it's gonna to start to shape. You're gonna see. See, it's starting to go together, right? You guys, can you see the dough coming? Can you see that? Kind of, the dough is start to kind of come together. Maybe a little more water, but I'm almost done. Wow, pretty cool, huh? So go easy, gentle, maybe one more tablespoon, that's all. That's it. Oops. Wait, easy, huh? Did you see that? Super easy, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna make that dough super tough. You can see what's happening. You see what's happening? It's time to, right? Okay, I'm done with the dough. The dough, I'm gonna work by hand now. This is it, my dough is done. Whoa, pretty cool, huh? That's a really cool uh, French dough. So, all right, here we go. Now I can work on the table directly. and show you how to finish the dough. Now, again, you have to be very careful with that dough. We're gonna keep it, I want flaky dough, super flaky. 
if the key means I have to be careful with that. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to put it together. You see what I do? Just put it together. Gently. See, that's it. Cool, huh? That's all. The more gentle you are with that dough, the more super awesome it's going to be. I need a little flower for my hand, right? So I'm going to get my flower. I'm going to do a dusting bowl. And that's it. So for my hand, this is what I do. Look, my hand. That's it. Now. Why is that? I don't know if you can see that beautiful door. That's the door. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to smash it a little. I'm careful. Okay. You see, I didn't fold any of that, right? I didn't fold. Great. No done. Wow. Super cool. No folding. I didn't fold any of that dough. None of that. Zero folding. That dough is just together like this. That's it. Now I need to cool in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Maybe not. Maybe I won't put it in the fridge. Why? Because we don't have time today. If I want to show you the dough, I have to go and put it right now. So I'm going to put it in the fridge just for like Actually, I'm going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's going to do it. So, because it's super soft. Soft, way too soft. Too soft, that thing is not going to work. It's going to be, it's going to melt. Cool, done, boom. Next. Okay, so I have two doors, two small doors, two small tops, right? Now, the reason why I flatten them is because when they're cold, they're going to be easier to deal with. So I'm going to put that in the freezer for a little bit, maybe five, ten minutes, okay? Yep, freezer time. You made that look easy, Chef. All right. How many galettes have you made, would you say? Chef, I'm sorry, what was that? I was just saying you make that look so easy. How many of those do you think you've made in your life? Thousands? Thousands? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that's the thing, man. You know when they say, um, who said that uh, practice make, make perfect? Yeah. You know, it's BS, right? <laughs> <laughs> what Let someone else is, do the hard work and then teach you? Oh, you have to do it. If you do it right, you can practice. But if you do it wrong and you keep practicing, that thing is going to be hell. So that's the idea. Okay. You have to practice the right way. And I tell you, do is cheap. Once you learn how to make it, make tons. Make, make mm. it, make it, make it. And after a while, you are done. You don't need a recipe. You're done. It's like that. So that's how we work, right? All right, chicken oh, yeah. time. Chicken and eggplant is exactly the same thing. Exactly the same. Okay. Three bowls. And my chicken over there. I'm going to start with... So I have my eggs in one. And we're going to do it gluten-free, guys. All gluten-free. It's going to be fun. So I changed a few ingredients. Gluten-free is really easy to do. And it's actually a little better, I have to, I have to say. I need a little flour in there. So I'm going to do no flour. What I got is corn flour. Yeah, that's super. Uh, this is all gluten-free, OK? Great. Corn flour could be any gluten-free flour. You know what? Uh, I like I like corn flour because I can do cornmeal instead of wheat uh, panko. It's not really uh, it's not parmesan anymore. So we're gonna do something else. So I have my corn flour here, and then I need my panko. So my panko. So I'm gonna go like that with my hand, guys. Okay, I work with my hand, by the way. Nice, great. All right, this is it. Now we're going to put, all right, goes in there. And now I need my, my, my breadcrumb. So for the breadcrumb, I have gluten-free breadcrumbs here. 
I can also do almond flour. You guys can do whatever you want. I have breadcrumb that are gluten-free. You can do almond flour. You can do coconut. That's coconut is not Parmesan at all. And then you can do um, you can do um, cornmeal. That's really good. So I'm gonna put. But a gluten-free cracker, they're great. I'm gonna use that. Okay, that's good, right? Yeah. Great. Awesome. Good. Cool. I'm gonna switch that. Boom. So that's a combination of gluten-free crackers and gluten-free breadcrumbs. Yeah, those are crackers. Oh, amazing. Gluten-free crackers. I found those are really good. Perfect. It's really cool. You know, gluten is a problem for a lot of people with taste. I'm not, this is it's, it's a lot of problem for a lot of people, that's for sure. So if you can avoid it, but I would work with corn because I, I, I get a really good organic corn meal, which mm. is super good, right? At least we get something with a lot of nutrients. I want some nutrients. Uh -huh. I, I don't want to work with empty, empty stuff all the time. It's not good, right? Good, all right, so this is good. Okay, there's big pieces, but we're good, right? All right. Here we go. I have almonds also, guys. Okay, you can also do this. Nuts. We're just gonna stick to that. Okay, my eggs is ready. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna salt it first. Nice, I'm gonna salt. Same, same with the, so the eggplant, what happened with the eggplant, you need to salt them about 30 minutes before, and then you need to rinse them and wash them. So wash them and so rinse them and then dry them again, okay? This uh, chicken, I just salted it and we're good to go. For the eggplant, you need to uh, salt them about 30 minutes before. They do, it's all in the direction, by the way. Or you don't have to do that. Just salt and it. is that, that gets, that makes them less bitter? What is the reasoning for that? It's, uh, yeah, less bitter and lose the, mo the moisture. There's a lot moisture. of water. Mm -hmm. Lots of water in the yep. because it's food. Now it'll make it hard for the, the breading to stick and it'll make it runny and, uh-huh. All right, ready? Now I need my flour. Remember that flour is gluten-free, it's corn. You can do any type of flour you want, right? Then I have my glue, that's the glue. And that's the breadcrumb, the breadcrumb, the, the whatever, okay? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work with my tool because I don't wanna put my hands in there. So what you wanna do, you guys see what I'm doing. I don't need um, flour. So the flour is to dry stuff. So let me show you what happened here, okay? The dry stuff. So I'm gonna dry this. Put it very well. Work slowly, make a nice job, people. Make a good job. Just take, take your time. There's no need to rush. That goes in the egg, right? Then I wanna make sure the eggs is strained, you see? Right? That goes in the panko. Whoa, cool. You see that? So the, pan the, the bread comes a little big, it's fine, it's okay. Now that's going to land on this guy. I'm going to land on this guy. Okay. So it won't stick. Okay. And I'm going to keep going. Flower. And for the plant, you do exactly the same thing, guys. You can do also, um, uh, tempeh would work, I say, tofu no. So I'm gonna keep going like this a couple of time, right? I'm just gonna do two shit, okay? So I can get moving. You got the idea. I don't have time to do all this. Great, done. Up the other way, and we're done with that. All right. Now, start. done in a few minutes. This is where to go. 
So you guys, I'm going to start making my sauce, the tomato sauce. So I got an onion, garlic, and I'm going to make a quick tomato sauce. Actually, I'm going to cut my apples first. So I'm going to cut my apples first because I want to go in the oven really quickly. So I got two apples, which I'm going to cook really quick with butter. And I use butter a lot. You can use olive oil as well. Okay, guys, you don't have to use butter if you don't want to. Apples, they're Fuji, they're really good. Organic, always. So I like the skin. I don't, I don't care about the skin. I, I leave it, okay? It's much more fun. All right, so here we go. Cut those apples. Go around the core, boom, boom. And to make nice slices, look at this. Whoa, pretty cool, huh? See, be careful your finger, don't go too fast, right? But see, those apples, that apples was frozen. Can you see? A little bit frozen. It's fine. I'm gonna cook those. So normally, if I, if I would leave them, I would put them with olive oil in a bowl so they would not blacken, right? Now I'm just gonna cook them right away so I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna two of them. I'm gonna cook them in butter really quickly. And then the pie is gonna be able to go. The timing is good, awesome. Beautiful. Great. And that's it. One more. Great. All right, now I'm gonna put that into a, a saute pan with some butter and we're gonna cook that for, I don't know, five minutes maybe, only very quick, okay? So let's get that thing in, clean. Get that here, boom. All right. So just apples and, and butter, any cinnamon, yep. And I'm gonna put some spices and that's it, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. You're gonna use your famous- uh, Fuji. Uh, uh, Fuji, what spices are you gonna use? Your little spice blend you came up with? Yes, so I'm gonna use my spice blend right here. Mm -hmm. I've been putting that on everything, chef. My oatmeal, oh my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, clove, cardamom, lime. So basically I'm adding a lot of antioxidant Guys, this is how it works. It's not just flavor. Flavors are great, obviously, but it's also a lot of antioxidants. So I'm gonna put a bunch, right? Because I like it a lot. And I'm gonna put my butter. Butter, here we go. All right. Chef, you're a pretty big fan of butter. Put it in oh, a yeah. lot of things, yeah. Butter, uh, butter over oil or just fats in general are good. Cool. All right. Okay. Okay. You guys can't quite see back there, but Chef's in his, uh, we got a big commercial kitchen back there. We make a, a beverage called Reboot. So if you're in the Bay Area and you want to try a really yummy. Yes. So uh, I'm going to put a nice amount of butter. Woo! <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. Now. Okay. Beautiful. Don't cook them too hard. Gently. Beautiful. Oh, that's a big piece. I need to cut that. Well, that's it. Just let it melt a little. All you need to do, guys, is melt a little bit 
very, very light, okay? I'm gonna put some olive oil also because I love olive oil and butter. Yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. And don't be bashful, guys. If you have any questions, you can toss them in the chat and then I'll yep. bring them up for Chef. Don't be afraid to ask. Yes. All right. All right, look at that. Whoa. I can tell you this smells really good, okay? You can add sugar if you want to. I'm not a big sugar person. I'm not going to do a lot of sugar, guys, because, um, because, um, so. And all you want is them to be a tiny, tiny bit tender. So when you feel that they're, they're starting to break down, it takes about five minutes, seven minutes, guys. It's really fast, okay? Go on low, let's sit in there. And then I'm gonna start my chicken in a minute. I think that's it, great. Uh, I'm gonna start also my onion. So I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook my tomato sauce. Ah, just trying to tenderize. Give me like two minutes. Two minutes done. Not even barely. Okay, cool. Awesome. Show it off. We're done. So now I'm gonna go get my dough, chef. Sasha. We're gonna make the dough right away so we can have the pie going in the oven, okay? Perfect, so you've got that in the freezer right now, just like what, 10 minutes or so? Just gonna Yeah, but it needs up. to go a little longer, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna okay. get it now. I'm gonna get it now because I need to uh, start that pie right away. Yep, you gotta make it happen. Yep, all right, make so I'm gonna get the happen. dough. That's it. We got everything that goes in there. My cranberries are here and awesome. It's okay, it's not, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, good. Fun, fun thing about these dishes, everybody. It's actually pretty good. They, uh, they stay delicious for a few days out. You know, you can freeze your extra eggplant Parmesan. Oh, there it is. Looks good. It doesn't take long for that, that butter to harden up, you know. No, it's actually pretty freezer. cool, man. Perfect. It's actually pretty cool, so yes. Now the apples are really hot, so we're gonna go really quickly. All right, let me put that away. All right, people. So what I'm gonna do quick. All right. This is not gluten-free, okay? This, this flour, this is not gluten-free, okay? I made it regular gluten. The gluten-free is the chicken. The chicken is entirely gluten-free, I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little flour on top and there. Okay, I'm gonna cool really quick. Ooh, the dough is perfect. Oh my God, that was great. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a small pie. So it's gonna go fast and you're gonna be able to see it. In the dough, the recipe I gave you is, there is a double dough. That's why I cut it. So I can make two small pie or I can do a giant pie. So I'm gonna do it oval. I'm gonna do an oval so I can fit in there, right? And what you wanna pay attention to, you wanna make sure that 
when you feel the dough like this, it's even. You see what I mean? So this is thicker, this is thinner, right? I'm going to keep working until it's all kind of the same size. So one dough makes a pretty big pie, guys. You don't need to. So you can keep the other one in the freezer. You cannot keep it in the fridge. It will go bad. Okay? And don't worry too much about the shape, okay? You can always like, you see? Don't worry about the shape. It's gonna be fine because we're gonna fold, right? See what I'm doing? So this is a tricky part. Great. All right, cool. I'm ready to go. Now, let's go in there. Trying to fix it. All right. Ready? Put apples, cranberries. Apples, cranberries. So my cranberries are here. I had them right here, Chef. Can you see them? Can't quite spot them. Huh? I can't spot the cranberries from this <laughs> angle. So, <laughs> sorry. They're here, they're here. So my apples go right in the middle. So you have to wait until the apples are cold, people, okay? They're too hard now, but I'm gonna go really quick, okay? So I put two apples only. So you can see four apples make, all right? And my cranberries, oh, they're right here. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can put almonds if you want. See? I can put hazelnuts. I mean, uh, what do you have it? This is pecan. Why not? Right? Yeah. Look, pecan. Ooh. If the apples are soft, you can put the pecans in the bottom so it will take the juice. Cool? So I'm going to make this and look what I do, guys. I want you to see what I'm doing. Okay? You see? And that's my. That's my galette. Whoa. So you understand the trick is in the door. Huh? The folding is pretty easy, right? You got that, huh? This is not, this is not a, this is pretty easy. It's rustic. It's pretty too. That's really good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Quick, egg. We're gonna brush with an egg, put some sugar, and we're going in the oven 400 degrees. So I have my egg, boom. Do an egg wash, put some sugar on it, and that's it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and so at 400, doesn't, it doesn't have to be in there for too, too long, huh? It's going to be a while. What, tw 20 minutes? 20 to 30 no, minutes, yeah. 20 to 30. I'm going to go right now, see if we can show you how it looks by the end. Perfect. Okay. Let me show you what I do, guys, so you can actually see. All right, now don't let the egg yolk sit on the dough. Once you put a bunch of eggs, remove it, literally. You see what I mean? Or brush it off. Mm -hmm. And then put a little sugar, little sugar, not too much. Mm -hmm. Just a little crunch, a little texture. A little yeah, sweetness. it's just uh, that, you know, that, that very chunky sugar, yeah. that big sugar, that's mm -hmm. shiny. Oven ready, let's go. Boom, bye-bye. Whoa, nice. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Chef, I have 20 minutes to finish the sauce, the chicken. Let's see. And I checked in with them. They feel, uh, if you run a little long, another 10 minutes or something like that, it's all good. It's all good? It's all good, yeah. Great, great. Already then. Okay, so then. 
Maurice. All right. Alors, I need a small pen. This is going to go away. Bye bye. You put that in. Cook that. I'm going to start the tomato sauce in a minute. This is going to go back. I don't need that. For my tomato sauce, I got beautiful tomatoes right here. Really good. Okay. Strianese, beautiful stuff. Those are the like uh, San Marzano. Okay. Same idea. Biologic, beautiful stuff. I'm going to put it a bit. I'm going to put half of the can because I have some already here. Okay, so I'm not going to put the whole thing, but I'm going to do the onion really quickly, cook the onions, put the tomato sauce, cook it down for a little bit and done. Okay, all right, onion. Okay, to cut the onion, here we go. I'm going to do slice, easy stuff, okay? Very easy and fast. Boom. Wait. Oh, very cool. Okay, let's cook those um, onions in a saucepan because that's going to go the tomato in there. Okay. This is a very basic tomato sauce, people. You don't have to do all this. You can just work with your tomatoes. Those are so good. You don't have to do it. I just want to make sure this little olive oil. See? See, I cook little olive oil. I don't know, two teaspoons, right? That's it. We're going to fry the onion gently, okay? Gently. I don't want burnt onion. I don't like that. I like them for another dish, not for this. Cool. Let's put, let's put more onion. Why not? It's already there, right? I'm going to finish my onion. Okay. Cool. Done. Let's put that in there. Beautiful. All right. We're going to cook the onion for about five minutes. How about some garlic in there? Oh, yeah. Garlic. Let's put a few cloves. Same idea. Let's remove the, the core. I'm going to do a quick mince. Quick means gentle, whatever, just like that, right? You can shave it, you can slice, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because, we're, you know, the sauce is going to be a sauce. Also, for the sauce, you can blend it at the end if you want to. I like to serve it raw and, and chunky because um, there's a lot of nutrients in there and I don't want to lose them. So if I put um, chunky, even better. Garlic goes in. Garlic goes in. All right, while this is cooking, I'm gonna do some cleaning. A few things I've noticed watching you chef over the last few months is that you always cook and clean as you go. Right. And you always multitask. You've always got a few different things going on at the same time. I think yes. those are two of the most underappreciated chef skills out there. Well, the it's a, it's a habit, right? Multitask and clean as you go. It's a habit. It's a habit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is going yeah. well. There you go. It's a habit that anybody can um, can yes. establish, though. You know, you yes. can just make a point. I'm going to clean as I go. You know, right. and then so prepared. If you've got your ingredients and you know the recipes, you can do two at once, no problem. So, mm -hmm. chef, when we do our 12 week series, that's something I, I really show people. We have a 12 weeks. Garlic press is fantastic. Rachel, don't even worry about it. I love garlic press. The, the thing with the garlic press, though, it's a pain to wash. Is it? <laughs> it's true. It is. It's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Now, Rachel, if I can show you a quick way to do garlic, maybe you're not going to use that, that thing anymore. Okay, ready? This is my garlic, right? Look. Get that root out. 
Are you ready, Rachel? Boom. Done. Now, now, only thing I have to wash is my knife. See? There you go. There you go. That's it. Yep, I've been doing it that way too. Mm -hmm. But garlic press is fantastic because it really crushes out the garlic. And if you have a lot of garlic to do, I think it's, it's garlic is very important. I just right. changed my life. <laughs> And you know, Rachel, I can do it with, uh, okay, do you want me to change your life even more? Oh my, are you going to do it with the shell on, with the skin on? Oh, you can do that. You can do that. Yeah, that's the easiest way to get the skin off is just that same knife trick. You smash it right. and then you just shake off the skin. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are enjoying yourselves, we do I'm show you, I'm going to show you the ginger also, Rachel. Ah. Okay, you guys, listen, this is ready to go. So all I need to do really early is put tomatoes in there. How much, whatever, okay? You know, guys, I didn't go to school. I have no idea how to measure stuff. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm just, whatever. <laughs> and then some of them by can I just open, right? Where's my can I just open? Right here. I'm going to put some in there, right? Oh, those are full. Okay, so I'm going to grab them with my hand. I'm sorry, guys, that's a mess. I like to buy whole. All tomatoes are beautiful. Sorry, it's a mess. It's a mess, I know, right? Okay, cool. Now I have to wash my hand a little bit. Can you give me one second, guys? I'm gonna go wash my hand, get some, and show you the ginger and the garlic in the shell. All right. And if you're enjoying yourself, guys, and you want to learn more about the basics of cooking, we do offer a, a virtual class. It's a 12-week series, meets once a week. You'll, uh, you'll learn how to make beautiful stock. You'll learn the secrets of a good sear. Um, it's really something else. So, yeah, we're offering that. I believe it begins in February, and it's a great deal. It just so comes is done. to $49 a class when you're all said and done. Okay, tomato sauce right away. Boom. Teaspoon of salt, boom. Right away, don't wait. The salt is your stuff. Okay, here we go. So, Rachel, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. The garlic in the clove, right, uh, Sasha? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have a clove here, right? See, there's a little, whoop. Do the same thing, light, very gentle. Gentle, now look, up, and then boom, right? Okay. <laughs> Done. If that was too slow, I can do it again. That goes into my sauce, boom. Now if I want to do ginger, okay, and that's the leftover, see? This thing is empty now. Woo, woo. For the ginger, it's the same idea. Let's say I want to put ginger in there, right? I could. Not, not that I do. Okay, ready for the ginger? Peel that with a spoon, just quickly. This is organic ginger, so I don't care if there's skin left over, but I can go in between the nuts, right? You see that? Get rid of this. And look at this. Whoa, pretty cool, huh? And now, slice, 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 all right. Done. Any suggestions for folks that might be a little afraid to slap their knife like that? Is that a scary thing that you do or is it just, is it habit or? You have to handle your, you know, your kitchen. You need to be the master yeah. in there. So <laughs> yeah. have, I'm yeah. serious, uh, chef. Yeah. That's, that's just the way it is. I'm, I'm, you, if you're afraid, then don't cook. Because see, the thing is, people are always afraid and they don't do that. Garlic press is at this level, Marilyn. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to tell you about the fear. This is something, you know, you have to mm -hmm. uh, fear food in the kitchen. It doesn't work. So I, 
I'm, I'm not sure what to say. Um, well, if you want to get better at your knife skills, we, we actually have a knife skills class. Yeah. It's one of the oldest classes that- It's you know, not a big deal. And, and big you deal. see what I'm, yeah, you see also I'm not grabbing the blade. I'm just smashing on top, right? It's like, mm -hmm. and if, you, if you're afraid, just use a garlic press. It's like, garlic <laughs> press are great. Yeah, no, we seriously, they're yeah. great stuff, right? Not a big deal. All right, so I put my ginger in the sauce, guys, just because I like ginger and I like garlic and I like onion. So now this is not really a Parmesan, but it's fine. We're gonna be fine, okay? I, I'm in for nutrients. I want as many nutrients as I can. I don't wanna get sick ever. And this is what I do. I always put more food, uh, herbs, you know, basil, uh, thyme, parsley, all this stuff, man. So we don't get sick. All right, let's cook that chicken really quickly. And I'm gonna show you how to do the, all right, so I have that chicken right now, which I'm gonna sear only the outside. I'm gonna get my, I have an oven at 400 ready to go. So look what I'm gonna do people, very quick. Same with the eggplant. The eggplant is the same, right? You did the flour, you did the egg and you did the panko, same exact. This is exactly like eggplant. So I'm gonna go here. Now this is a little bit different. I'm gonna go and put some very special oil that I cook with. Okay, you need about a quarter inch in the bottom. See, quarter inch in the bottom. Now, this oil is rice bran oil. Very good oil. The only oil that you can cook with is avocado oil, rice bran, chicken fat, bacon fat, butter, ghee, coconut. That's it. Nothing else. Like, really, nothing else. Don't no sunflower, no grapeseed, none of that. Huh? No sunflower seed oil, no grape seed oil. No seed oil. No seed oil, okay. Seed oil make you sick, and that's the big prime we have here. We cook with stuff that is not traditional and it cannot handle the heat. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. All right, so now, look what I do. Remember my tomato sauce is done, right? All right, so I need a nice, pretty dish. So. That's good, right? Whatever, okay? That's gonna be very beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Now, this is gonna be for my chicken. Could be anything, right? It has to be in the oven, so that's why. Now, this is ready. How do I know? I don't know. I'm just gonna see. Yes, it is. So what's happening? Ooh. Put that. Gentle heat. You see that is gentle. Medium heat, nothing crazy, people, nothing crazy. You really don't want to burn any of that. If it gets too loud, just reduce. Trust me, it's a gentle heat. I want a light golden eggplant. Is the same exact process, exactly the same. And you see how gentle, huh, you guys? Notice the gentleness of the cooking. This is super important. Oh, break time. Woo, man. That's coffee in there, right, Chef? Sure. <laughs> There's ice. I was say, it's a little late for coffee now. No, it's coffee, ice, and lime. What, what okay. else could that be? Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. All right, let me get my mozzarella quickly. All right. Full fat mozzarella, guys. Don't even deal with low fat. Cheese, low-fat cheese is disgusting. It's gonna make you sick. It's, it's called a cheese product for a reason. It's not cheese, that's why. <laughs> like seriously. All right, let's see if he wants to move. All right, it's moving. Oh, that's gonna be, oh man. Oh Jesus, look at that. Okay, one more minute only, only one minute on this side. This is done. Only one minute on this side. I'm gonna finish cooking them in the oven, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna to start to one minute only. And actually I'm gonna shut off that heat. No, one minute. I said one minute, it's one minute, okay? Next. Mozzarella. Okay. Now look at that. Off. Put that chicken right here. See how pretty that is? 
Same with the eggplant, same exact process with the eggplant, people. The same exact thing. Look at this. Whoa, so nice. Oh, basil, I can put it after or before. I don't, actually, I'm going to put it now. So for the basil, guys, I don't like to put it in my sauce. I like to put it like separate. So look what I do. I'm going to take two leaves. I'm going to put that. So let me just put that away for now, just for a minute. I'm going to put my basil just like that, right? You don't have to use your knife, guys, okay? Don't use, don't just like, whoa, that's pretty cool, huh? Mmm. Wait. Mozzarella. Whoa, look at that, so cool. Jesus. Oh my God. Eggplant, exactly the same process, people, exactly the same. Once you cook those eggplants, go in the oven. So I'm gonna go in the oven, 400 degrees, that should take about five minutes, okay? Whoa, my pie is done, great. Wow, so cool. Jesus. Man, woo! How's the smell? Okay, so I have a special oven, uh, Sasha. I do have a special oven, okay? Uh huh. The convection so oven. My oven goes back. fast, people. Uh -huh. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Nice. See that? Look at this. Crispy, beautiful. Cool. Nice. I'm going to put that here for now. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? That tart is beautiful. I can leave it for a few minutes more. But I wanted to show you. Okay, it's great. Done. Beautiful stuff. Crispy. Look at this. Cool. Now my chicken is going to cook for five minutes. And all I need to do for the chicken when it comes out, put some Parmesan on the top. Same with the eggplant. Pretty cool, huh? I like the Parmesan to be fresh because I buy real Parmesan, like a good, good Parmesan. So I really want to taste it. You can do pico, you know, you can do all kind of good things. Cool. And I'm just going to grate it on top. When the, when the chicken comes out, just fresh Parmesan, <sighs> smells really good, and then serve, done. Great. So we're going to wait for the chicken, Chef, okay? Sasha. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You guys good? You can ask me questions. Oh, man, the timing is good, huh? You did it, John. I was just going to say, it's just about perfect. Jesus. The cranberries threw you for a little loop there for a second, but you found them. Cranberries are fantastic. Who likes cranberries? Everybody, right? You know what cranberries are? They're specifically good for a women's urinary tract. You've heard that before, people? Did you hear that before or no? I've heard that, yeah. Are they, is it antioxidant rich as well? Is well that... It's not the antioxidant that works no. on that. The antioxidant no. is extra stuff. Antioxidant yep. is to... Uh, no, what happened with the cranberries and the E. coli is basically uh, cranberries as a sugar that is called mannose. So mannose is a sugar that's interesting that it binds with lectin. So just so you understand how it works. If it binds with lectin, the E. coli is a kind of a big body with thousands of arms going around. And at the end of the arm, in order to be able to uh, glue his hands, his arms to the cell wall, uh, he needs, that's a lectin receptor, pretty cool. Huh? So basically the lectin, the mannose binds with the lectin, so the E. coli cannot grab the cell the wall. So it doesn't kill it, it just can't stick to the wall. It's pretty cool, huh? Every food has this little secret like this. And that's why you want to eat real food, absolutely zero processed food, nothing fake, trust me. And you're fine, you're good to go, okay? And all the vegetables, all the herbs, all the, they all do something for you, all of them. Let me see if my chicken is ready. It's also important, everyone, to uh, to know where to shop. So, you know, if you're in Chicago, Two more minutes. the Spice House is a great place to get your spices. If you're in Oakland or the Bay Area, um, Oakland Spice Shop is great. Or, you know, Berkeley Bowl um, is a fantastic resource. We almost shop exclusively at Berkeley Bowl. Um, 
you know, are, everyone are you, is great. Are you guys local? Yeah, so this is uh, sponsored by the um, DePaul University Alumni Association, and this is oh, their wow. um, their Bay Area chapter. So their that campus is in Chicago, but um, their alumni from the area are on the uh, <laughs> the webinar right now. Let me show you my reboot. Yeah, so this is a drink that um, that chef's been making for over ten years. It's a, a wellness tea, it's like a. Where are you at, Chef? We've got four flavors. All right. um, we make it in this facility right here. And it's available at Berkeley Bowl. It's really delicious. There's the hibiscus, the lemongrass. That's one of them. Sparkling probiotic. That looks like the original. Oh yeah. Yeah, original. So we have many different ones, right? This is this is an old, this is an old one, but still. All right, let me get my chicken. Yeah, so if you're ever at re if you're ever at a Berkeley Bowl, just shopping around, go to the uh, the probiotic section where all the kombuchas are, and see if you can find our product. It's yummy. Okay. Whoa, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh my God, so you're, pretty. You pulling out that uh, Parmesan right now? Let's see it. Let me get a little thing here for you to see. Where's oh yeah, my... mm -hmm. got the caramelized little bits on top. Yep. Perfect. Whoa, pretty nice, huh? Woo. That's right. Well, you'll be you'll be eating well tonight. Yes, <laughs> probably. Okay, so guys, I want to show you something, a little trick that is very, very important. This is just like that, right? Now I need to go away to get something, let's say. Look at my towel right here, right? It's a dry towel. I go away and then I come back. I'm like, oh, look. Ah! All right, so this is something that you want to do that all the time. Something comes in the oven, get a towel and leave it. Now I'm going to show you how to present with magnificent basil. Okay, so for the basil, I'm going to show you how to cut it cool. So we're going to make something pretty, right? For the basil, because we're going to make something cool on the top, right? Go like this, make a little just, okay. We're not smoking this one, we're just cutting it, okay? Uh -huh. Long strokes, we're making chiffonade as small as you can. Small, small, small. This is a chiffonade. If you do that, the basil will not darken. It will stay beautiful and green. Look at this. All right, look at that. Whoa, all right. Now we're coming back. Put that chicken back. Woo! Yep, there you have it. Oh man. Now nah, it's a beautiful presentation, Marilyn. Right? What do you guys way think? To, yeah, way Good. to make it happen. Way to make way it happen, on. Chef. Huh? I said a way to make it happen. Two beautiful dishes in less than an hour. Good job. Thank you, man. Any any last minute questions? This would be a great time to. To, to ask him. <laughs> it looks delicious. <laughs> Marge, you know when it's going to end? Right in there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef, and um, to everyone at Kitchen on Fire for helping host this event tonight. Um, as mentioned, this uh, event was recorded, so if you'd yep. like to ever come back and watch it again, you can find it on our website. Um, and I did post uh, my contact information in the chat if you're interested in getting connected with fellow Bay Area alum. But thank you so much to everyone um, for coming thank and joining us. And uh, you, Chef you. or um, Sasha, would either of you like to say any last few words? Yes. Thanks a bunch. Pay attention <laughs> to your food. You live longer.
<laughs> you guys, this is important. I am. I just turned 60, what, a uh, few months ago, last six months ago. I have never been sick in my life. Now, the way I do it is I have the same diet forever. And if you don't know what to eat, you go to the farmer's market, you look around and everything is here. Everything that you need is all there. So you don't need to stress. You don't need to have diets. Just eat the food. There it is. Cool. Straight from the source. Rachel. Fantastic. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. much. And thank you, Bye. everyone, for joining us this evening. Have a great night. Thank you, guys. See ya.